Hello, this is Daniel, and here is my article of the week. So, I've been seeing a lot of stuff, mostly on Facebook, with a hashtag, end the stigma. And my article of the week is going to be called, why end the stigma, hashtag, isn't enough. So, I've been wanting to do this article for at least a year and a half, in some capacity. Uh, I wanted to do it about the ice bucket challenge at first, and why I didn't think it was as effective as it could have been. And then you got things like the mannequin challenge. And the No Shave November, which, if you don't shave, that doesn't mean it's giving any cause. Because, for example, I don't shave a lot anyway. And so, everyone would assume I'm doing it for No Shave November, but I'm not. And so, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. But, it finally hit me how to do this correctly. When I saw the End the Stigma hashtag again on t-shirts and stuff. And, it really, it didn't bother me. Because, anything with Ending the Stigma... Like, mental health awareness doesn't bother me. But, I guess the better way to say it is, I think I could do it better. I guess it's the best way to say it. And, here's a few reasons why I don't think it's perfectly effective. First of all, first of all, the truth is that it only goes to a certain audience. And, so when I see and the stigma, well... There is no stigma in my mind. Most of the people that see this are people that are already subscribe to mental health things. And so they see them, and that means they already have awareness of mental health. It's not going out to a national audience. That's why I thought, personally, the Brandon Marshall advertisement, they did one with his cleats, and the Project 375, which is his charity for borderline personality disorder, are so important. And... Because that was a football audience. And a lot of people probably don't subscribe to these things. And so it's great that you have these on the stigma t-shirts. But it doesn't really change that much. Or at least as much as you would think. Or I would think at least. Because honestly it really doesn't do as much as I said. Because these people already know about it. It's not like this is new information for them. And also, the people that wear the t-shirts, they're at least their family and their friends, hopefully, at least they know about the stigma. Now, they might act against it, a lot of families unfortunately do that, but they're going to know about it. It's not like they won't know what the stigma is. And so, to end the stigma is a great idea, but there needs to be more to it. Uh, to add to that, people are stubborn. That's just the truth. And so... To change them, it takes more than just a hashtag. And I know, there are some hashtags that have been successful. And I know, I'm going to sound old, and I'm not old. I swear, I'm not old. And the truth is, though, the older generations are not on Facebook as much. They're not going to see this. They're less likely to, at least. I'm not saying they won't, but they're less likely to. And so, it just doesn't help that much. When the people that really need to see it, don't see it. Also, the best way to do it, in my personal opinion, would be to teach young kids when they're coming up to not have a stigma, not just about mental health, by the way, about anything. Race, sex, um, religion, anything. That would be a perfect world. Of course, we're not in that world. But it would be the best way to do it, because it's very hard to change adults. It's just the truth. It really is hard to change adults. Also, the end of stigma, to me, it seems a little too corporate. Like, it doesn't come from a personal place. And so, while each story could come from a personal place, and that would help, I don't think a hashtag is really the most effective way to do it. So how would I do it, you ask? Because if I'm going to complain, one of the things I always say is if I'm going to complain, I need to have at least some sort of idea of a solution. It's not fair to say someone else stinks if I don't have a solution. And admittedly, I also don't have money, which makes it hard to give solutions. So this is for the people that have the money. First of all, you have to go brand. And I know what I just about corporations. But you have to make yourself a brand and make it so that ending the stigma is, and I hate to say this, but it's cool. Like, make it hip. And it shouldn't have to be that way. It should just be that it is cool already. But that's the way you have to do it. You have to go national. You also have to go regional. 
you know, the advertisements in the NFL are probably really expensive, but you can do regional advertising, and that's cheaper. Also, have more players come out. I saw a Bleacher Report thing today, for example, where Brandon Marshall's donating money to Project 375. The fact that that's on a national website, like Bleacher Report, at least for sports, is a big deal because it means a lot of people are seeing it. And so it's great to have end the stigma on Facebook, but if it's only on people that already have mental health awareness pages, it's not going to help as much as you would think. I also think it's great to have a t-shirt, but you need to do more. You have to give money. And obviously, these people that are making these t-shirts are giving money. But more this is more like the ice bucket challenge, I guess, where it was like dump an ice bucket on your head or give money to charity. You need to make sure that there's actually some tangible help that comes. Because some of this, that's what it is. It can't just be explained in a hashtag or a t-shirt. It needs to be explained in things like counseling and understanding gender and that males can be vulnerable, which a lot of them can't, honestly, at the moment. So that's what I think about this topic. And I hope that I don't offend anybody. But I probably did. And I feel that they're going in the right direction with them the stigma. I just want to take it a step further. Uh, comment below if you disagree. Um, subscribe. Like the video. That's always great. Check out my blog. I have had some technical difficulties lately. So I apologize. I've not been posting a lot lately. But the post will be coming back. I will be doing an article at least once a week. Like this video. So you can check that out every week. On my YouTube page, The Imperfect Artist. And also check out Instagram and stuff. And also, one more shout out since this is a mental health thing. Digital art is a great way to have a creative mind. If you don't have the supplies to do art and you have a phone, because now these days everyone has one, digital art is a great way to use that. So, have a thank you everyone, have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.